Alrighty guys, so we are headed to Port Townsend tonight on our way down to Cannon Beach, Oregon for a friend's wedding. And so I'm gonna show you where we camp when we come over here. So we would camp just behind that bush and in front of that cougar camper right there. And we fished right there. So we did this on one of our um, trips to Fort Casey that's what that is Fort Casey campground and now we're on the ferry we're on the Kennewick Kennewick as you can see it's just a short ferry ride from Coopville to Fort, Fort Townsend I think 20 minutes 30 minutes and then we're gonna do some uh, boondocking in a 24-hour camp or parking space We'll show you when we get there. Maybe a little bit of video on the ferry ride over. I don't know. Can't quite see Nigel. It's in there just right behind this uh, truck right here. We're just right behind that. But the uh, F-18s for the flight training is going away for it now, so it's quieter. So we'll catch you when we get moving on the ferry a little bit. Here are the chairs we saw the people chilling and we were camping out there. And we're like, well, look at those guys are already relaxing. It's October 2nd, so it's uh, sun's getting down a little earlier. I think today the sun's going down about 6.30. You can see it going down right there. Again, the campsite where we would go. And there's little seagulls down there. I think we're gonna be heading out of here. Let me see. Yeah, right about now, because it's six o'clock. We got a six o'clock ferry departure, so we're right on the numbers for time. Nice. Alrighty, so we're in here in Port Townsend. We got the parking space back here. There's a 24 hour parking and we're just taking the dogs for a walk. It's just after sunset, um, but we want to come, like I said, take a little bitty walk right on this corner and see how it looks. And it looks like we're right on the corner of the, the uh, peninsula and we'll show you in just a second. Nice totem pole. And now here is the bay. Nice little bench artwork for the whale tour building. The 
camp host. He's gone crazy with decorations and we love it. Good for him or her or them. Back in there somewhere behind all those is a big camper. Big fifth wheel. Alrighty, so we are kicking back in bed. Watch a little DVDs. Um, we found a parking, a 24 hour parking lot mm -hmm. in Port Townsend. I think I showed a little bit. Um, there's a truck camper over there, about two, two spaces next to us and a couple of vans. And we're gonna uh, hit the rack tonight kind of early because we're gonna get up early and drive down to Portland to, what is it called? Multonoma Falls. Multonoma Falls. We've never been, I'm super excited. Yeah, hopefully we'll get a couple good pictures. I think the colors are changing, fall colors, so that might be nice. Um, and then we will end up in Tillamook mm -hmm. tomorrow um, at the Blue Heron, which we stayed at before when we went down in Oregon uh, earlier this year. Um, so we'll stay there tomorrow night. And then our campground is in Cannon Beach. Yay. We'll check in on Friday afternoon at 2. So we'll, we will, I guess that's the plans for the next couple of days. Right. And then we will uh, catch you in the morning. So like I said, we're going to hit the rack early and um, wake up and get going. So we'll see you in the morning. Alrighty, good morning, y'all. So this is our uh, parking lot for the night. There's, there's Nigel behind us. And there's a truck camper, a couple of van. It's pretty open. And a couple of cars back here. And there's the Florida. And then you can see right there is the the bay. Actually, the Puget Sound. Uh, across there, it's Whidbey Island. So yeah, this little 24-hour uh, parking. All right, I just had to get out real quick. Take a look, this is Capitol Lake. You can see the capital up there and we're at a little park and there's the lake so we just, so we decided to take a, just a brief little detour and um, again we've never been to the capital here in Washington so we thought we'd take a look at it since we're literally one exit from it so we'll get up here and show you what the capital looks like from the lake and there's the Washington State Capitol in front of Capitol Lake and there's Gia. She wants to get in the water. Gia. Gia, you want to get in the water? There's Genevieve and Paloma. Alrighty, we made it to Matalanama Falls. I can never get the name, but I'm walking up. Jen's on the bridge. We got some pics. So it looks like up here on the bridge. And over there is the Columbia River. So we're in the Columbia River Gorge right here. It's the part where the river goes through the Cascades. And uh, it's pretty cool. I'll show you guys in a sec. Alrighty, so this Multnama Falls, um, they have a restaurant, gift shop, here. And the falls are up there behind the building. It's very pretty, easy access. Hey, nice. You can get to the uh, falls an easy, easy, easy walk. And then we have the dogs, so everyone loves the dogs. Gia is getting a lot of attention. Paloma some, but mostly Gia. So it's a great place, easy access. It's hard, the parking isn't that full. I mean, isn't that much. So you might have to struggle or wait to get in. Um, it's cost 10 bucks to park and they only have all day and that's it. So it's, enjoy your time. It's really nice. And I bet it looks awesome when it's rainy season. The falls aren't that huge right now, but if it's rainy season, it'd probably be roaringly crazy. 
anyways, we'll catch you guys at the next stop, which I think we're going to stop in Portland and on the way to uh, our final destination tonight for, which is the Blue Heron um, Cafe or Market or whatever. Hi, Vian. Tell her about what you thought. Oh, hang on. Texting my kiddo. It's beautiful. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, so we crossed it off our bucket list. Um, I wish we would have seen a little bit more of the fall colors there, like in the catalog that we have. But anyway, it was really, really nice. Uh, highly recommend. Well, we stopped here in Portland at Voodoo Donuts. Um, that's where we're going to stop at last place. Before we head to the other spot, and then uh, we will catch, we'll let you guys see the donuts here in a sec. All right, we may have gotten too many for just the two of us. We got a buttermilk bar, an apple fritter, a chocolate ring, and a maple cream thingy. Mm, I gotta try mine. Yep, then try yours. Okay. This is the ever popular voodoo donut that, I don't know, it's Instagram visited. I guess if you wanna see that. Mmm. <laughs> You like Love it? Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna cut a little piece of this buttermilk bar. Mm. I mean, let me let me taste this thing. I don't even know what buttermilk bar is. Besides, delicious. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let me take a little taste of this apple fritter. Oops, sorry. Looks good to me. Oh my goodness. It's good. Good cinnamony flavor. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You see, it's gonna give me a piece like this big back. <laughs> well, it's good, but I'm a chocolate fan. Yeah. Alrighty, the maple one. Oh, it's heavy. This thing is heavy. It's got Bavarian cream in it, which I didn't get to. Oh my God! Can you paper towel for mm -hmm. me? It's it's really good. It might be that we're hungry. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we're gonna eat this stuff. And then uh, I think that's gonna be it for this video. The next video will be when we get to Cannon Beach and Tillamook and all that. We're gonna try to hit some different places than we went earlier in the year. But we'll catch you uh, next time and enjoy. And I hope you enjoyed this little short video of us hitting to Port Townsend, Ferry, um, down to Portland to the uh, Montalama Falls. Mm. Falls and uh, Voodoo Donuts. We'll catch you guys next time.